It is important we get to know the actors who perform surveillance for three reasons. One, because each actor has different capabilities available to them. Two, because there are different powers available to the individual in holding them to account. And three, because each actor is a change maker that needs to be treated differently when devising an advocacy strategy to appeal to them. In this lesson, we'll focus on who the actors are and the resources and technologies available to them. The primary actor is the state. They have significant resources available to them in the form of intelligence agencies and police forces. Then we have the private sector. Their capabilities exist because they could be telecommunications companies that you use to send a message, like BT, T-Mobile, MTN, or Zine. Or they have a platform that you use to post your messages, like Facebook, Twitter, Google, or Instagram. Finally, we have individuals. Their capabilities exist because too often our communication networks are vulnerable, and when discovered, these vulnerabilities can be exploited. These individuals can be hackers, identity thieves, men in dark rooms with hoodies on. When it comes to talking about how interception happens, we can actually wrap all these actors up into one persona to help us understand. Privacy International's adversary. In this part of the course, the adversary will be showing what information it can collect from communications networks and how.